Hi everyone, I'm Frank Pospisil, and I'd like to share our top 10 tips for installing USG structural panels, including concrete subfloor and concrete roof deck. Please consult our SCP-14 for subfloor and our SCP-43 for roof deck. Number one, start with the right tools and supplies. You'll need inch and 5 8 self-tapping, self-countersinking screws with a corrosive resistant coating for fastening to cold form steel a high torque, variable speed drive with an extension for easier work. Do not use an impact drill. These are not designed for cold form steel framing. Make sure fasteners are inserted at least a half inch from the edge of the board, but not too far from the edge so as to miss the supporting framing below. And don't forget safety equipment. Fall restraint harnesses and perimeter railings are a must. Two, use a running bond pattern when laying out your panels. Lay the structural panels in a running bond pattern so that the butt edges of the adjacent rows do not meet. Typically, the butt edges of the panels in one row should lie adjacent to the middle of the panels on either side. Make sure to complete each row before starting the next. This makes it easier to properly lock the tongue and groove edges, which is imperative to attain the desired shear diaphragm. When fastening, begin at the corner adjacent to the two previously fastened panels and fan out across the panel. Do not tack the four corners first. In particular, pay attention to roof deck with 48 inches on center found on page nine of SCP-43. Three, follow the framing. Always place the panels with the long edge perpendicular to the support framing. If the framing direction changes, then the panel direction must also change. Always ensure that at least three quarter inch of the structural panel bears on the supporting framing. Four, Block under 24 inches. If the width of the panel is less than 24 inches, you must block or frame the panel's entire perimeter. The same applies for any single span panel section. Five, maximum six inch openings. Openings up to six inches in diameter or six inches by six inches square are allowed. Any larger openings require framed blocking around the hole. This blocking must be made of the same framing or joist material used to support the panels. Six, if metal decking is used. If the structural panel is installed over structural corrugated metal decking, it's important that the tongue and groove side of the structural panel always run perpendicular to the flutes of the decking. The butt ends of the structural panels must always bear a minimum three quarter inch on the flute. If the butt ends do not have a minimum three quarter inch bearing, then they need to be cut. Seven, you can never be too safe when cutting. You'll need a rough carpentry carbide tip circular saw. Do not use a diamond or ceramic saw blade. The cut material from the panel will clog these blades. Use the same blades as you would to cut plywood. Make sure you're wearing glasses, gloves, and respiratory protection. Cut in an isolated area to limit dust proliferation. Use a dust vacuum to further minimize the spread of dust. And don't forget to review the safety data sheet for the use of proper personal protective equipment. Eight, be careful of concentrated loads. Be careful to protect the USG structural panel from heavy concentrated loads like scaffolds, refuse carts, pallet lifts, toolboxes, or drywall carts, to name a few. Lay temporary sheathing over the structural panel along high traffic routes, such as corridors, to protect the structure from scrapes, gouging, and holes. Number nine, safe pallet placement. Always consult the structural engineer of record if you're considering placing pallets of USG structural panels on any flooring or deck. These pallets can weigh in excess of 3,500 pounds each. Never stack any concrete pallets on a built structure. If placing pallets on a structure, always place the pallet over support framing and never in the middle of supporting joists. 10, cover up in bad weather. Although USG structural panels can be exposed for up to three months in their installed positions on a job site, the pallets should be covered if stored outdoors. Failure to do so can cause them to freeze together. So there's an overview to get you started. Don't forget to visit usg.com structural and download our SCP-14 and SCP-43 installation guidelines. They give you a deeper understanding of how to install, cut, and store your structural panels. Thanks for tuning in.